Question 1. 2 times 1 divided by 2. 4 divided by 1 times 2. 6 times 1 divided by 2. Blank. A. 8. B. 4. C. 16. D. 32. The next sequence is, A divided by 1 times 2. Since, A divided by 1 times 2, is not found in the choices, so we have to solve this. A divided by 1 times 2, equals 16. Answer is, letter C, 16. Question 2. 15 minus 8 plus 3, 8. 4 divided by 2 times 3 blank a 4 b 8 c 3 d 2 you have to solve it first the equation 15 minus 8 plus 3 is equal to 10 and 4 divided by 2 times 3 is equal to 6. The sequence is subtracted by 2, which is 10, 8, 6 and 4. Ends is letter A. Question 3, 12, is 125% of what number? A, 9.6. B, 9. C, 8. D, 8.9. 12 is 125% of what number? 12 equals 1.25 times n. 12 divide 1.25 equals n. And, n equals 9.6. Answer letter A. Question 4. What percent of 16 is 40? A. 2.5%. B. 1 over 4. C. 2500%. D. 250%. n times 16 equals 40. n equals 40 divide 16 equals 2.5. 2.5 times 100% equals 250%. Answer is letter D. Question 5. 99 to the power of 0, minus, negative 2 close parenthesis squared, plus negative 3 squared close parenthesis, minus, negative 4 close parenthesis squared. A, negative 28. B, negative 9. C, negative 10. D, 30. Solution. Using PEMDAS rule. 1 minus 4, plus negative 9, minus 16, equals, negative 3, minus, 9, minus, 16, equals, negative 28. Answer is a negative 28. Question 6, a 1 fourth percent of a number is 25. What is the number? A. 100. B. 10,000. C. 1,000. D. 100,000. Solution. 1 fourth percent times n equals 25. 
0.25% times n equals 25. 0.0025 times n equals 25 n equals 25 over 0.0025 equals 10,000. Answer is letter B. Question 7. 90 increased by what percent of itself gives 180? A. 50%. B. 150%. C. 90%. D. 100%. Solution. 90 plus 90n equals 180. 90n equals 180 minus 90. n equals 90 over 90. Equals 1 times 100%. Equals 100%. Answer is letter D. Question 8. If twice the value of a certain number is increased by 8, the result is 40. What is the number? A. 8 B. 24 C. 16 D. 32 Solution 2n equals 8 plus 40 n equals 40 minus 8 over 2 equals 16. Answer is letter C. Question 9. Use PEMDAS. 10 divided by 2 times 5 minus parenthesis 12 divided by 3 times 4 plus 1. A. 10. B. Negative 1. C. 1. D. 23. Solution. 10 divided by 2 times 5 minus parenthesis 12 divided by 3 times 4 plus 1 equals 10 divided by 2 times 5 minus parenthesis 4 times 4 plus 1 equals 10 divided by 2 times 5 minus parenthesis 16 plus 1 equals 5 times 5 minus parenthesis 16 plus 1 equals 25 minus Parenthesis 16 plus 1 equals 10. Answer is letter A. Question 10. Use PEMDAS. Parenthesis 18 divided by 6 times 5 minus 14 divided by 7 equals A 18. B 13. C 14. D 12. Solution. Parenthesis. 18 divided by 6 times 5, minus 14 divided by 7. Equals parenthesis. 3 times 5, minus 14 divided by 7. Equals parenthesis. 15, minus 14 divided by 7. Equals 15 minus 2. Equals 13. Answer is letter B. Question 11. PEMDAS, parenthesis, 3 times 5 squared divided by 15, minus, parenthesis, 5 minus 2 squared, equals? A. 10. B. 1. C. 6. D. 4. Solution. Equals parenthesis, 3 times 25 divided by 15, minus, 5 minus 4. Equals parenthesis 75 divided by 15, minus, 1, equals 5 minus 1, equals 4. Answer is letter D. Question 12. 
question 12, 4, parenthesis, 15 divided by 3, plus parenthesis, 6 times 3, minus 2 squared equals? A. 32. B. 74. C. 42. D. 34. Solution. Equals 4, parenthesis 5, plus parenthesis, 18, minus 2 squared. Equals 4, parenthesis, 5, plus parenthesis, 18, minus 4. Equals 20 plus 18, minus 4. Equals 34, answer is letter D. Question 13. Number series, 2, 1, half, 1 fourth, blank? A. 1 third. B. 1 eighth. C. 2 eighths. D. 1 sixteenth. Solution. Each number is divided by 2. 4 halves equals 2. 2 halves equals 1. Half equals half. Half, divide 2 equals 1 fourth. 1 fourth, divide 2 equals 1 eighth and so on. Answer is letter B. 1 eighth. Question 14. Number series, 5.2. 4.8, 4.4, 4, blank? A, 3, B, 3.3, C, 3.5, D, 3.6. Solution, each number decreases by 0.4. 5.2 minus 0.4 equals 4.8. 4.8 minus 0.4 equals 4.4. 4.4 minus 0.4 equals 4. 4 minus 0.4 equals 3.6. Answer is letter D. Question 15. Number series, 8, 12, 9, 13, 10, 14, 11, blank and blank. A, 14 and 11. B, 15 and 12. C, 8 and 15. D, 15 and 19. Solution. This is an alternating addition and subtraction series, in which the addition of 4 is alternated with the subtraction of 3. 8 plus 4 equals 12, 12 minus 3 equals 9, 9 plus 4 equals 13, 13 minus 3 equals 10, and so on. Answer is letter B. 15 and 12. Question 16. Mary, Peter, and Lucy were picking chestnuts. Mary picked twice as much chestnuts than Peter. Lucy picked 2 kilograms more than Peter. Together the three of them picked 26 kilograms of chestnuts. How many kilograms did each of them pick? A. 4, 8, 6. B. 6, 10, 8. C. 8, 12. 10. D. 6. 12. 8. Solution. Let X be the amount Peter picked. Then Mary and Lucy picked 2X and X plus 2 respectively. So, X plus 2X 
plus x plus 2, equals 26, 4x plus 2 equals 26, 4x, equals 26 minus 2 equals 24, 4x, equals 24, x equals 6 kilograms for Peter, therefore, Peter, Mary, and Lucy picked 6, 12, and 8 kilograms, respectively. Just to check, 6 plus 12 plus 8 equals 26 kilograms. Answer letter D. Question 17. A student chose a number, multiplied it by 2, then subtracted 138 from the result and got 102. What was the number he chose? A. 108. B. 102. C. 106. D. 112. Solution. Let x be the number he chose, then. 2 times x minus 138 equals 102. 2x Two equals 138 plus 102. 2x Two equals 240. x equals 120. Just to check, 120 times 2 minus 138 equals 102. Question 18. A farming field can be plowed by six tractors in four days. When six tractors work together, each of them plows 120 hectares a day. If two of the tractors were moved to another field, then the remaining four tractors could plow the same field in five days. How many hectares a day would one tractor plow then? A. 148. B. 146. C. 144. D. 154. Solution. If each of six tractors plowed 120 hectares a day and they finished the work in four days, then the whole field is 120 times 6 times 4 equals 720 times 4 equals 2880 hectares. Let's suppose that each of the four tractors plowed x hectares a day. Therefore in five days they plowed 5 times 4 times x equals 20 times x hectares, which equals the area of the whole field, 2880 hectares. So, we get 20x equals 2880. x equals 2880 divide 20 equals 144. Hence, each of the four tractors would plow 144 hectares a day. Question 19. A real estate agent received a 6% commission on the selling price of a house. If his commission was $8,880, what was the selling price of the house? A. $146,000 B. $148,000 C. $140,000 D. $142,000 Solution. Solve for x. 6% x equals 8880. x equals 8880, divide 0 0.06 which is, 6%, x equals $148,000, hence, $148,000 is the selling price of the house. Question 20. A salesman sold twice as much pears in the afternoon than in the morning. If he sold 360 kilograms of pears that day, how many kilograms did he sell in the morning and how many in the afternoon? A. 130, 260. B. 120, 240. C. 125, 250. D. 140, 
280. Solution. Let X be the number of kilograms he sold in the morning. Then in the afternoon he sold 2x kilograms. So, the total is, x plus 2x equals 3x this must be equal to 360. 3x equals 360. x equals 360 divide 3. x equals 120. Therefore, the salesman sold 120 kilograms in the morning, and 2 times. 120 equals 240 kilograms in the afternoon. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.